We ended the last session with the section on commercial considerations and authorship. And there are one or two points that I would like to further discuss. One of them has to do with whether commercial considerations could chime in with art. There have been producers who are aware of aesthetic considerations, especially in the last decades of the 20th century. But this is partly because of a more sophisticated audience, which also looks at the aesthetic quality of films. In other words, the audience was not only interested in entertainment, but they are also interested in the aesthetic aspects of films. Apart from that, we have film awards. Most of these awards are given on aesthetic or partly aesthetic criteria, but they may also have an effect on the commercial success of films, as these awards perform the function of advertisements for the films. But uh, we might want to say in this connection that uh, uh, the cash nexus should also be regarded as an author and not just uh, the figures that we have discussed so far in, on this topic. So in other words, it's not just the director, it's not just the cinematographer, uh, but cash itself, money, that should also be considered as an author. Perhaps uh, uh, this is uh, a sarcastic way of looking at uh, commercial motives in the production of film. And the cinematic spectator and their wallets, also in a sense, whether effectively or potentially, are also the authors of the film. So in a way, we are shifting from the perspective that uh, it's the people who are directly involved with film who are the authors, but there are others who may influence the film in a certain way and therefore should also be considered the author. So that's it for the learning point and section on commercial considerations and authorship on the topic of cinematic authorship.